This video explains how to create an order in the Circle TMS system. To create a new order, go to the Orders tab, then to the Orders menu option, and click the green Create Order button. The first step is to identify who is giving you the order. The easiest way is to start typing the customer's name, and the system will find the customer name. If it can't find the customer name and it is a new customer, you can click the Create Customer and add the customer to the customer database. Also identify the division that will recognize this revenue. By default, it will pick the division you are associated in your user profile. Then click the green Create button to create the order. This will open up the standard order entry screen. At the top left, you will have the new order number that you can give your customer immediately. It identifies you as the person who is booking the order. It also identifies who is calling in the freight and the contact. You can pick a contact from any contact that's associated with this customer, and if it's not there, you can add a new contact. Enter your customer's reference number, and then click the Add Order Stops so you can enter the first two pickup and delivery points. For the first stop, let's just type a customer name in and choose the customer from our customer database. If it doesn't exist, we can always click the plus sign and add it to the customer database. The system will go out to the customer database, bring back the customer's name, address, city, state, and zip, as well as any open and closed dates and times if it's stored in the customer system, and their time zone. Next, we want to set the pickup date and time. If we want this to be picked up on Wednesday at 3 in the afternoon, we type the letter W for Wednesday and 15 for 3 p.m. and tab out of the field. There are a bunch of shortcuts in the system to make entering a date and time very simple. Those shortcuts are documented by clicking on this letter I to the right. It identifies all the different ways you can enter a date and time very quickly. If you were to choose a date and time that was outside the hours of operation of the company, what would happen is the system will give you a warning that says the date and time selected is outside the stored hours of operation for that customer. The system will still let you save a date and time outside the customer's hours of operation. It is up to you to determine if you still want to use that date and time. To adjust the dates and times quickly, you can use these up and down arrows, and these will adjust the date and time by 15 minute increments. All the dates and times you put in are going to be in your local time zone. The system will give you the local time zone of the stop. In this case, I am in Eastern time and my stop is in Eastern time. Now we'll pick the delivery location. In this case, I'm going to the New York Hilton, and I search for the New York Hilton, find it in the customer database, and it brings the name, address, city, state, zip, plus their working hours into the system. The system will also do this for me automatically. It will calculate the distance using PC Miler practical miles and put that distance here. Using PC Miler, it will also estimate the tolls between my pickup location and my delivery location using the same route. It will look at a vehicle class and based on the vehicle class and how fast that vehicle moves, it will calculate an ETA both as a single and a team driver based on how you set your sleep times for your drivers. If I click on the dates and times for a single driver, it'll copy that down into my delivery location. So I can choose either the single driver or the team driver and will copy that information down. Likewise, I can use the up and down arrows by 15 minutes to adjust the dates and times. These dates and times both appear to be outside of the normal operating hours of operation of the customer. Anytime you see these up and down chevrons, you can click on them to expand or contract pieces of information. For example, in the pick up and drop, you can put in earliest and latest dates as well as any particular contact at that location. You also have quick buttons that would say the earliest date is my scheduled date plus one hour and my latest date is the scheduled date plus one hour. Each of these dates and times will be converted to the local time zone and they will be tested against the hours of operation of the company to let you know if those dates and times are outside the hours of operation. Whenever we select a customer from the customer database, the system will bring in any special stop notes associated with that customer. Those notes can be shared with the customer on the customer forms, with an outside carrier if you broker it, with the driver via the Circle mobile device, and if you post a load, those notes can be shared on the posting itself. You can also add notes associated to this particular stop at any point in time. With the customer on the phone, you can put in special notes and identify whether that's to be shared with the customer, with an outside carrier if you broker this, to with your driver on the Circle Mobile, or if you're posting it on the system with a load posting, and just add the note. 
The next step is to enter the freight details. First, we put in a freight quantity and the quantity type, the weight and the weight unit of measure, dimensions which are optional, and the dimension unit of measure, whether the freight is stackable or not, choose a commodity from our commodity code list, put in a bill of lading, any kind of freight value, dim weight, and breakdown. All of this is optional data. Then we choose save to save this data. To recap, first, choose the pickup customer. Second, set the pickup date and time and adjust accordingly. Third, choose the delivery customer. Fourth, the system will recommend a delivery date and time both as a single driver and a team driver and based on the distance and average speed of the selected vehicle. Choose the appropriate vehicle class, then set your delivery date and time accordingly. Fifth, note any estimated toll charges for this journey. Sixth, review all stop notes that are copied from the customer database. Add any stop notes as necessary. Seven, enter the freight details. Even though freight details are optional, you should enter as much information as possible. Eight, save the stop data. This will bring you back to the main part of the order. The top part of the order is who's giving you the freight and their reference number. Then you'll have all the pickup and delivery stops. Then you'll have some basic information about the order. And below that will be all the stop notes. To see a map of the trip, click the toggle map button. This will open up the route based on PC mount or practical routing. If you want to see the turn by turn directions, the last icon on the bottom left of the map Clicking on that will open up the turn-by-turn -turn directions for this particular route. Click the toggle map again to hide the map. To see how the system calculates the ETAs, click on any one of the scheduled dates and times buttons. They could be either green or red. This will open up a screen that identifies all the parameters used to calculate the ETAs, and then there will be a grid on how the ETA is calculated as a single driver and how it's calculated as a team driver. You will see all the calculations and the trip summary data. This is an excellent way to review how the system calculates the transit times. The stop data grid will have the following information. First, there's a gear option that lets you add and remove stops, do crosstalk, etc. If you click on the event type, that will drill into the pickup or delivery stop where you can make changes. Next will be the scheduled date and time for the particular stop, and you can drill into that data to see how the ETA is calculated. Next will be the ETA that the system calculates. Then you'll see the company's name, address, city, state, and zip, and the distance traveled for each stop, pieces and weight, and tolls. If you click on the tolls link, it will identify the individual tolls that the driver will experience when they run this route. Clicking tolls again will toggle that information away. The system will look at the pieces, weight, and dims of the order and the stackable flag and recommend a vehicle class to haul this freight. You can easily change the vehicle class by selecting one of the dropdowns. If the speed changes, it'll automatically adjust the dates and times for the ETA. Likewise, if you select team, it will adjust the dates and times of the ETA based on a team. To set the billing customer on the order, choose one of the shortcuts. If it is the company that calls in the freight, click on the chain link beside the customer and say set as order bill to. If it is one of the pickup or deliveries, click on the little box with the up arrow and choose set as order bill to. This will copy the bill to name down into the billing customer area. You can also just click into the billing customer area and just start typing a name to find an approved bill to. To set how much you're going to charge your customer, click on the charges amount. This opens up a screen where you can put in either a flat amount and tab out of the field to give you a rate per distance. Or you can put a per distance amount in and tab out of the field and this will give you a total amount. You can choose either one of these as a quick way to just calculate how much you're going to charge your customer. If you want to add additional charges, you can click the add charge line and pick any of the other types of charges like for example additional stops and put a value in for an additional stop as well. Once you have the information that you want, click the save order rates and that will bring the total rate amount back into the order. To change the customer rate again, just click on the total amount and go in and change it. Don't forget to set any service team for per your customer standards or whether you want to have a dock high vehicle yes or no. The actions drop down give you various functions you can also do. You can copy this order, you can add notes to this order, the alerts review will tell you all the emails or text messages that went out to your customers, 
The order summary is a quick review of everything that's gone on in the order so far. You can see all the bill relating documents. You can generate a rate confirmation to go out to your customer and you can email it out to them. You can look at all the transaction logs as to who's done what to the order. You can upload documents to this order. You can view any uploaded documents and you can change the scheduled dates and times very quickly. The set as button lets you save the order different ways. Setting it as available means it's ready to dispatch or post. Setting it as a quote as means you're quoting the customer. Lost opportunity means the customer decided not to do the business. When you create it as a template, you can then create a schedule against this and have the system build an order based on this template. Saving it as canceled means the order never took place. Vehicle order not used means that the customer gave you the order, but then later on canceled it, and you're still going to charge the customer because they ordered a vehicle, but did not use it. Even though there's a save button, the system is constantly saving the order as you do things to it. The post button allows you to post it out to the network and get bids on it. Please watch the video on how to post and bid on loads. Dispatch is how you can dispatch this order right from the order entry screen. By default, the order will be saved in draft status. If you want to save the order as an available order, just click set as available and the order will be saved as an available order. Once the order is saved back into the order grid, you can drill into the order number to edit it. You can post the order to the network, dispatch the order, add it to another manifest that exists already, copy the order to create a brand new order, cancel the order, set it back to draft so you can change the order, change the scheduled dates and times to move them ahead or back, or view any scanned documents associated with the order. To recap creating an order, first click Create Order and set the authorized company and your revenue business unit. Second, set the authorized contact and customer reference number. Third, create the first pickup and last delivery stop pair. Fourth, add any additional stops. Please see the video on how to add stops to an order. Five, choose the proper truck class, team, dock level, and service team. Six, verify all order stop notes. Seven, set the bill to customer and rate. And finally, save the order and prepare to either post it to the network or dispatch it. Thanks for watching this introduction on how to create an order in the TMS system.